you missed last week's video? Yeah, don't watch this one. Go back. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my jewelry collection. I got two trays, lots of boxes, and then I have another tray. These are all earrings that I separated off of the things like this, but like a long time ago. Not a long time ago, but probably when I first moved into this apartment and I really didn't have space for those. So I just had these little brown earring hooks things. So I put them on there to keep my earrings on these little, the little things that come on. But I'm just gonna be showing you my jewelry collection, a few bracelet, let me not lie. A lot of bracelets, some rings I just got, earrings that I wear every day, earrings in general, earrings that I'm trying to start getting into, a few nose rings, but for the most part, I stick with these two because they're cute, they're simple, they're just, wow. I want new rings for this, or I want new hoops for this cartilage piercing but it's still pretty new and literally I can't change it for another year but I think I'm gonna just order one offline and go in to like a different piercing shop and say hey is there any way that you can like change my hoop for me and if they say no no or just no you have to use our jewelry then I will because I kind of want something thinner like this is the one that they gave me and it has the ball right there I don't like that like at first I didn't like it but now it's cool but it's just this doesn't go with my everyday jewelry like it does but I also kind of want to get a gold hoop because I want to start getting into wearing gold all the time but then once I do that then I'm gonna have to change my nose rings and get gold ones but I'll probably just get a skinnier silver one I want to get more piercings though also Okay, first we're starting off with this Vivian Westwood bracelet that my boyfriend recently just got me just because I love it because it's pink and it's thin, but it's obviously big, but it's not heavy. It feels nice. I thought it was going to be too small, but it actually fits and I have a lot of space left, but it's cute and I really can't wait to wear it. It's very nice too. It just pops out. And then next we're going to go to this little ring that I got my boyfriend. I got it for him for prom. He never wore it, but it's like, it's just meant to be mine. Next I have these gold hoop earrings. I want to start getting into gold hoops because I really don't have any. I just have this one pair from H&M, but these are cute and different. I also got these from Target. I've actually worn these once and they're quite heavy on my ear. They're really nice, but I don't know. I might not wear them again, ever. And then I have this set that I got from H&M a while ago. I like the blue and the yellow, but I've never worn them. And quite frankly, I don't know what to wear them with. A lot of my earrings and jewelry in general I have from H&M. So if it looks like that, from H&M. I have these bracelets. I got them because I want to wear them as anklets because look at all that space. It looks like they fit as anklets. No, ma'am. They don't. They're way too small to fit on my ankle. I have this little set here that I have from Target. There's three silver, five gold. I like the gold more, especially that little triangle in the circle. These earrings here I got from Burlington, and I got them for a little discount because that middle set right there is missing. I don't like the silver ones at all. And then I have these little, like, paperclip gold hoops. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these, but I want to get into, like, thin gold earrings i'm digging it they're cheap so why not but i don't know i have these hoops because i don't have like just a pair of like click hoops so these are nice thin not too big not too small 
feel like these will fit me. These are so adorable. They give me very Easter vibes, very much match my nail vibes, but they're so cute and so cheap. I'm so ready to wear these. Oh my freaking God. So cute, so blue. Up next, I have these thin but classy gold earrings. None too much, but also too much. I've tried these on, but I don't know how I feel. But these right here, these are cute. It's just, it's not too much blue, but it's there. It's giving what it's supposed to give. These are just regular everyday earrings. I honestly forgot about them that price. They're so not worth it, but just a little some some. I have these just accent earrings. These are basically like my first tall earrings, and then I just pair them with little ones. These crosses, very self-explanatory. I think I've only worn these about two times, but that's like literally all my jewelry. I got these from H&M as well. They're cute. I wore them for graduation. Haven't worn them ever since, but gotta keep them. I have these from Rome Way. Mm, I wore them for an anniversary. They're not that bad. Accent, just everyday, top hole, bottom hole, matching set, whatever you want to call it. More accents. I got the top pair from Sheen. It came in like a bundle and I literally threw most of them away because they're not worth it. I got these from my boyfriend. What I'm about to for say Christmas. sounds really bad, but I don't mean necklace, it like that. But honestly, that was not cute. So that one, it just wasn't giving. So it went in the trash. Just metal balls, accents, more accents. I like the bottom pair. Any earrings like that came from Sheen. These, I like them, but no. Oh, I love these big pearl earrings. I just haven't worn them. These hoops, I probably got the bottom pair from H&M, and I don't wear them anymore. Top pair too small, might throw them away. More accents, more just shiny, everyday earrings. Nothing too much. Pearls, I'll never wear them, but never throw them away. Accents, I like the top, but I've literally never worn them. Flower, just cuz, and I'm not gonna get rid of them, so get over it. These stars, I used to literally wear these all the time, and then on my birthday, I decided that I was just gonna stop. Just necklaces, I don't wanna get rid of them because I need to get into necklaces, but I'm not really liking these. That one I just got from Walmart because I just wanted a necklace to go in my outfit that day. Like, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Like, what is that? This is like a silver chain necklace. Oh, this is actually my grandfather's ring. It's very cute. I need to start wearing it more often, but I don't because I don't want it to go bad and like just get messed up or something or get lost. I have this black leather Tory Burch bracelet. My first bracelet from there, honestly, I give it a 7 out of 10. But it's cute. If it's nice, some simple, but I don't know. I have these earrings. These are literally my everyday earrings. I wear them all the time because they're butterflies. Why would I not? These I wore today actually and the butterfly came off. So I had to hook it back on there. But they're $7.99. Like look at that rainbow. The color. It's, it's giving. It's so cute. I have this evil eye bracelet. I didn't want to return it. But I don't like it. But I don't want to return it. It's just a little too see-through for me i want some brighter and bolder i have this gold necklace it's very thin and the clamp is too hard to hook on to the thin hoop it's just it's very hard with nails but it's cute i got these tory birch earrings for my boyfriend for christmas they're rose gold those backs are very big so it's easy to put them on i got myself a michael kors bracelet some cute, some easy, classy. I don't really wear it that often, but I do. But like I said, it's very easy to put on because that little adjustable string, so much better than clamps.
Next, I have this gold chain bracelet that I got from Target. It's easy to slip on because it's stretchy. I have these earrings. I've never worn them. I don't know. I might give them away for Mother's Day, but they're cute. And these I also got from Target. The pair that's missing on the bottom, oh my god, they were literally so thin. It was like putting a paper clip through your ear. It was not giving. These Target, I have turned these into everyday earrings as well, and I need to stop because they're so cute. Something about just plain silver shiny earrings get me. This is a nose ring that I've never worn. It's a hoop. I've tried it on, but I've never worn it out. It's cute. I want to get more things like it, but, and of course I have to have a Playboy's nose ring because why not? I need to get a gold one and I don't wear it, but it's just, it's cute. I have to show you it. I also got these from, guess what, guess what, guess what, Target. I had to get them because they're pink and I want to start trying to wear gold. This is a bracelet that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day last year. It's very cute. I actually broke, or I didn't break it. One of them, like, came undone, so it basically split in half. It's easy to hook back on. It's just, I really can't wear it that often. I don't want it to break again. But it's cute. I have these rings I got from H&M. They're very simple, gold. I want to start getting into rings, but I don't know. Just not feeling it, but I am. But I don't know what I'd wear it with. I have this butterfly ring that I just got just because. Why not? This pink little bracelet I got from Sheen. It's cute. Adjustable, but this one gets loose, unlike the Michael Kors one. So that one stays tight. This I got off of Depop just because. Honestly, $60 that I'm never going to get back. I got these from Romwe or Sheen, but they're both bracelets, just some cute. And then I have a matching anklet that goes with that bracelet. And then I have these anklets that I made myself because it's hard to clamp with nails. So it's just, I need anklets I can put on easily. And this anklet is my everyday anklet. I love it. I made it myself. Cute. I want to start making anklets to like sell them, but I don't know. And then this one I'm thinking about breaking apart because it's just, it's not cute. It's not giving. I have this evil eye bracelet that I made. Oh my god. It's so cute. And I honestly thought it was going to be too small, but it fits just right. I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but I can't wait. And then last but not least, I have this charm bracelet that my father gave me for graduation. It has my last name, my first initial, my birthstone, and a diploma. And that is a wrap with the jewelry. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video. I'll try to post again next week, but if I don't, that means I don't have dinero. And if I don't have dinero, I'm not having fun. So like if you wanna like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe, and I will see you next week, you baddies. Mm -hmm.